Now getting to another planet in our solar system is a bit more tricky. Let's say we want to go to Mars, which is the next one over. Our frame of reference here changes, and we're going to be working with the entire velocity that Earth already has going around the Sun, and we need to add to that velocity to expand our orbit and intercept Mars, which orbits the Sun roughly once every two years. From what we saw in the previous videos, you might assume that we should fire our engines this way, since we're trying to get to a higher orbit. But let's not forget that we're already starting out within Earth's gravity well, so to minimize fuel consumption, we actually need to light our engines here, just above the sunset line, so that our initial speed around Earth adds up to Earth's speed around the Sun to direct us to where Mars is going to be when we cross its orbit. So if you land on Mars in say 6 to 8 months, the planets are now out of alignment, and you'll have to wait a while for the trip back to Earth to be possible without needing an enormous amount of fuel. So thanks for watching guys, make sure to leave any questions you have in the comments section, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos in this series.